Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I don't need to tell you how big of a fan I am of AMD's APUs. When the 2200G and 2400G came out, I was all over them. And for the money, they offered pretty decent performance, especially considering that the integrated graphics pretty much ended the life of certain low-end or older discrete GPUs. Fast forward a few years and now we have the 5600 and 5700G available at retail, though unlike first gen APUs they cater towards a higher point in the market. Now that's fine, I mean the onboard graphics are good enough for some 1080p gaming and you could pair these CPUs with high-end RTX or RX series cards and not worry about any bottlenecking, so the cost is justified but what I want to see is the 5300G come to retail. With 4 cores and 8 threads, the 5300G is currently an OEM part that can be found in select pre-built or on eBay for prices that exceed that of the 5600G, making it totally pointless to buy on its own right now, and sort of pointless to fully review. It seems as though the lower end of the PC component market is being neglected a little bit at the moment, and considering that a lot of hardware is selling for more than its original retail price right now, it sort of begs the question whether or not any lower cost or budget oriented parts would actually stay low cost for very long. I could go on about the state of the market all day, but without getting too distracted, the bottom line is that the 5300G would be a welcome addition to AMD's retail lineup. Despite the fact that the 5300G still uses Vega integrated graphics and therefore won't always offer a noticeable performance increase in games over the older 3400G for example, its Zen 3 based CPU architecture means that games that are more CPU heavy will really benefit and of course processing performance will be a lot snappier overall. So please AMD, release this to retail. £129, $150 seems like a decent price point for this thing. Now I don't want to go on about it too much because as I said before it is pretty hard to find or it does cost too much if you can find one. Usually someone's just pulled it out of a working pre-built system and then they tend to sell it for more than the cost of a 5600G but if these do come to retail well I'll be bringing you a full review then but it's time to get this borrowed one back to a friend. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed it leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and uh, hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.